Hello, I'm David Hunt, and welcome to Staying Alive, a panel show about aging queers. Our panel today is the gorgeous Leanne Renfried from Switchboard, Switchboard and the ever forever young Gordon Wilson, Secretary of Vintage Men. Hi, David, how are you? Uh, very well, thanks. Good. Our topic today is the age old debate about are we starting to disappear? Are people not noticing us? Becoming invisible for uh. the older older age groups. What's your thoughts on that with the young people? Oh, look, I don't know it so much with young people. I think any generation thinks they're the only generation that know it all and they're the ones that are important. So I think as we've got older, we've become, I guess, less less important and less visible. And that's at a, a broader sense. Yep. I think at a, a sort of day to day sense, I've found over the last maybe four or five years yeah. that I'm sort of ignored a lot more than I used to be. Okay. Um, and I don't mean by people not listening to what I have to say, but I mean in general terms, like going into a shop, if there's a few people, um, you sort of get passed over or in the street, I get bumped into. Mm -hmm. um, and that tends to be not just young people, tends to be actually probably men yep. more. So I don't know if it's a gender issue, but right, okay. listen to what you guys have to say. Gordon, what about you on public transport? How do you find it? I find public transport's pretty easy to operate with, of course, but the, um, I often find that uh, young people stand up and give me a seat. Even though I'm only going a few stops, they'll stand up and give me a seat. And I usually say, no, it's fine. I'm only going down to the station or something like that. Yeah. And, uh, but if they do, sometimes I will just sit, just to thank them for mm -hmm. giving up the seat mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. But it's usually um, the Asian community that do it because the Asian community have a thing about aged Respectful. people. You know, they have respect for the aged, mm -hmm. which is a lot more than the Western society seem to do. I can remember when I was a kid growing up, I was respect your elders, mm -hmm. was so much the story that everyone was telling us. Mm. There doesn't seem to be that that anymore, you yeah. know, because they're not yeah. being told by their parents, they're not being told by their schools or their organisations they're involved in. Would you agree? Oh, some schools um, do make a point of saying, because I worked in a college for years as a, as a, as a just a dog's body, general dog's body. I was never You'd a teacher. You'd be good at that, dog's never, body. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I was never a teacher, but the um, they always um, sort of drummed into the girls that it was respectful to um, give the seat to somebody older. You yeah. know, I don't know whether they ever did when they were on the thing, but I, uh, on the public I, transport. I, I, I think that would have changed. That was a few years mm -hmm. back now, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Oh, yeah, so about 10 I, I think it uh, would have changed now. What I think there's a there? difference between common courtesy, which we mm. should all extend to each other, regardless yes. of age or where we're from. And I think just respecting someone just because they're older is not necessarily the answer because I can hear a lot of young people go, why should I? Because there's a lot of older people that aren't that bright mm. and have done a lot of things that aren't fantastic. So yep. I think it's about, we all live in a community and it's actually respecting our place in that community and not um, having one group um, get more or be perceived to be mm. more important than the other. Um, that being said, if there's an old frail person, I think as part of, a, as a community member, you say, you know, that person deserves a seat or whatever. Uh, ab absolutely. I'm not fussed either way if someone stands up for me or not. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm not quite at that stage now, but I, like you, Gordon, I will take the seat now out of respect for the fact yeah, that they've well, done it. The fact that they do it. And um, and I was really surprised when it first started to happen that I was, you know, I like, was You looked around shocked. for the old guy behind yeah, you, did I, I was actually shocked and I thought, oh no, I'm getting up there. <laughs> the first time it happened to me, I was helped off a tram and I was only about 50 for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. thought, was oh, that well. my security, was yeah, it? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was some, security getting somebody just tram. helped me off the tram and I thought, oh, bloody hell. Uh, you there know, you go, that's what getting old. What about in the middle? media and I find my, my my feeling with the media is that the average person that reads a newspaper is 40 plus mm -hmm. the newspapers are full of stories about young people and all the the weekend magazines is all about the fashion and uh, for young oh, people they yeah. ignore people over 40 50 you know what I find about the media sometimes I find that the that colored pages on the paper inside the magazines or whatever, and they'll put white writing on a pale blue background, and you can <laughs> you never bloody well see it. Uh -huh. You know, haven't you ever noticed that? No. And use pink, and some of these magazines you pick up, and it's just hard to read. It really is definitely hard to read. Yeah. And yet, uh, 
probably young people just pick it up and go, yeah, okay, that's fine. Mm. But um, I find it, even with a reasonable sight that I have, I find it very difficult. But also the only time that older people get into the, into the media is if something's happened like they've been bashed or robbed or their drug dealers Driven or pushers or something. Um, shop or front. Seems yeah. to be a lot of those lately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> reversing, reversing, yeah. reversing, reversing through, through it. shop front. Oh, yeah. gosh. And so yeah. w- what's your feeling? Oh, look, I think that... Um, it's probably all driven by the dollar and it's about advertising and it's probably where who's got the disposable income. But what about the baby boomers? Don't they, they're the ones with the yeah, I, I was going to say, if you watch, depends, I don't know if you watch much commercial television, I watch it a little bit, but the advertisements around particular sorts of programs, you'll see that there's the 50, 60 year old cruisers advertised on certain shows or I don't know, are you getting phone calls at home now for funeral plans? <laughs> I like I like the ones where you're watching a program and they, they, the funeral they get oh, buried no. by, by, by you know pay off your funeral before you die. Or the APR <sighs> was the pensioners insurance <laughs> is on at the five o'clock news, <laughs> not yes. the seven o'clock and news. So thinking, look, oh, I think well, it's okay. probably all driven by that. I think there's probably not so much the general interest in someone who's older about what we do, mm-hmm. but I still think that's a sign of sign of the times. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's got to change because of the baby boomers. Talking yeah. about changing, it's up to to our generations to change a bit with, when it comes to social media. Mm-hmm. What's your thought on social media? I'm on Facebook. Show me now. Do you use it very often? Oh, look, I'm probably more of a voyeur than a contributor. Right, okay. Um, because I don't take photos of every meal I've had. Right. Oh, <laughs> can't stand that. Gordon, now you're, you're an artist. Yeah, and, that's right. Yeah. And the, the thing that really annoys me is that you don't have a Facebook page, and I want you to, yeah. because so that we can see your art on a bit of a regular basis. You've got to do something about it. You've got to keep up with the trends. It's just as important for us to to stay with the trends as well as you know, like saying, oh no, I don't want to do it because I'm in, you know, like too old to do it. Yeah, has Vintage Men got a Facebook page? No, we don't, no, oh, okay. we don't. Um, um, I, it's something I've sort of thought about, but I've never, do, never done anything about it. But mm. David has promised he would come and help me do it or something rather, but he's never done it anyhow. I'm, I must come in, because you know, it's important, it's oh, important. Totally. And the amount of friends I've actually made through Facebook now, mm-hmm. it, it's astounding. Oh. Yeah, and I couldn't I, I really live enjoy without it. it. The only thing I'm on is LinkedIn. LinkedIn? Oh, LinkedIn. Right. Okay. But All right. I don't do anything with it because I don't know anything about it. Well, you don't need it because you're not no, in the I'm workforce. I'm not in the workforce. Yeah. That's right. When I looked at it, I thought, well, what the hell's the use of this? Somebody, may, I, I said, what's this going on? I clicked yes and... Next mm. thing, I've got all this stuff coming through and I haven't <laughs> got a clue what it's yeah, about. Don't, so I don't, don't worry about that worry one. About it. I think from Switchboard's point of view, yep. like if I want to talk about sort of the work side of things, it's important because we need to have that presence. And if that's where people are getting messages, mm. we have to be yep. um, able mm. to get mm. the messages out. Well, thank you for being part of the panel today. You've been listening to Staying Alive. Mm.